Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another episode of Kita News where we talk about everything otaku. Today we got more video game news than ever, but I delayed this episode by a day because I had a bunch of videos released the other night. So I was like, eh, maybe I should stop releasing videos for the day, so I decided to delay this for Saturday. And of course, because delaying it, we got a bunch of anime news, which is pretty cool because I didn't really have any anime news store for yesterday. So yeah, we have anime news and video game news. So let's go ahead and get right to it. It's been a while since I heard anything about Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown, but the game announced that they will be releasing a Tekken 7 Collaboration Pack DLC on June 1st, which was a couple days ago. The DLC will include 19 Tekken 7 costumes, 20 Tekken 7 soundtracks, a Tekken 7 user interface, and two Tekken 7 Collaboration titles. To be honest, I think this is cool and everything, but are they trying to become Tekken? Like, if it's a collaboration DLC, then of course I would add in a couple characters from the Tekken franchise. Franchise, but hey, uh, Virtua Fighter 5, maybe it's time to go to Virtua Fighter 6. The Main in Abyss 3D action RPG revealed additional cast members and a September 2nd release date. Kito Akari will play the protagonist, Suwa Ayaka will play Taire, Fujita Akane will play Dorothea, and Hujiwara Natsumi will play Raul. We got tons of Square Enix news. Square Enix and Tri-Ace announced that there will be brand new information on the upcoming Star Ocean The Divine Force late June. They also revealed a new screenshot of possible characters. Romancing Saga Mistral Song is getting a remaster and it will release on the PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, PC, iOS, and Android this upcoming winter. Really awesome. I really love the Romancing Saga. So hopefully they actually make new games for the Romancing Saga or if anything make more remasters masters. Producer Hashimoto Shinji has announced his retirement. Hashimoto has been with Square Enix when it was still Squaresoft back in April 1994. He was the producer for games such as Front Mission, brand manager for the Final Fantasy series, and the Kingdom Hearts series, and also served as an executive officer of Square Enix Holdings. Thank you for your hard work and enjoy retirement. Of course, we have to talk about Final Fantasy 16. The long-awaited trailer dropped yesterday, and it looks amazing. The game is set to release summer 2023. So after the release of the trailer, we got more details on two of the characters. We got Hugo Kupka and Bendicta Harmon. So Hugo was his no-name soldier in the Republican Army, but he awakened to become the dominant of the Akon Titan, thus became a very powerful a soldier for the army and he just basically took advantage of that and you know tried to become rich powerful and everything like that and Bendicta who is a cold-hearted ruthless person is a dominant of the Akon Garuda Warden of the Wind and yeah she's just very talented when it comes to sword play and she's trying to teach uh, Hugo about money and all that good stuff but yeah she is a pretty hot character. I, I think everyone on Twitter was just like, you know, simping all over her. But these two characters most likely will be villains of the upcoming game. Cannot wait to play against them. We of course had the PlayStation State of Play, which I do have a reaction video on it. Link is down below in the description. Check that out. But during the State of Play, we had Street Fighter 6, a dating sim action game called Eater Nights, Resident Evil 4 Remake, which I honestly did not see coming. Uh, we have a bunch of VR2 games, which was pretty cool. They're finally bringing in big title names to the VR. And of course, the title we just talked about, Final Fantasy 16. Speaking of Street Fighter 6, the roster was also leaked after the trailer was revealed during the state of play. So as you can see on your screen, we have Ryu, Ken, Zangief, Dyslam, E Honda, Blanca, Guile, and Chun-Li making a comeback. Kami is also making a comeback. DJ finally returns after, you know, Street Fighter 4. Uh, Rashi, Juri, Ed, and Akuma will also be making their return. And we also have a bunch of new characters, which I like to see. Luke, who first appeared as a DLC character in Street Fighter 5. Five and was said to be the future of Street Fighter is of course coming back and going to be the protagonist of this upcoming new game but we also have uh, Marissa, Jamie, Mimi, Lily, JP, Kimberly, and AKI or Aki I guess and the game is set to release in 2023. Sega announced that they will be releasing the Sega Genesis Mega Drive Mini 2 in Japan October 27th for 
9,980 yen, which is roughly around 76 US dollars. The mini console will feature over 50 games from Sega, Mega CD, and the Genesis Mini Drive in Japan, including bonus titles that were not available for the original console. The platform revolution will be 720p and 4080p. During the announcement, they announced 11 games, Bonanza Brothers, Fantasy Zone, Magical Taruru Tokun, Shining in the Darkness, Thunder Force 4, Virtual Racing, Mansion of the Hidden Souls, Popful Mail, Shining Force CD, Slipheed, Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Additionally, they announced that they will also be selling the Mega Drive Tower Mini 2 add-on for 4500 yen, which includes a Mega CD Mini, Mini Cartridge of Virtual Racing, Mini Disc of Sonic the Hedgehog CD, and Mounting Spacer and a Super 32X Mini Mounting Spacer. They will also be selling the Fighting Pad 6B for 2500 yen. Of course, many guys know that the latest trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was released, but not many know about the people behind it. The Pokemon company has appointed Masa Junichi as its chief creative fellow effectively on June 1st. Masa stepped down from his position as managing director of Game Freak as of May 31st. Masada will use his deep understanding of the Pokemon brand to develop new services and products. Masada said this, I have served as the director of Pokemon video game series starting with Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire up until Pokemon X and Y, and was involved in development of many video games including Pokemon Go. I would like to express my heartful thanks to all Pokemon fans. Going forward, I hope to transcend the boundaries of video games by trying to offer great surprises, fun, and excitement to people all over the world while doing my utmost to connect people, expand the circle of play, and to help bring about a richer world for us to share. I appreciate your continued support in my new role. Congratulations on the promotion and can't wait to see what you come up with. Now onto the anime news. My stepmother's daughter is my ex. New trailer reveals that the anime will air July 6th. I'm Quitting Heroing Anime released a new trailer titled Climax PV and revealed a new visual as well. Bastard revealed a new visual and revealed that Tiale will perform the ending theme, Blessless. The live action Full Metal Alchemist sequel films released a trailer for part 2 and a new visual. The upcoming Tepen anime will air July 2nd. Katakoa revealed a new visual and a July 3rd air date for the upcoming Luminous Witches. Bandai announced that they will be releasing a spy family Tamagotchi that allows you to raise Anya. The Tamagotchi will have have 14 different evolutions for Anya and you can unlock them by feeding Anya her favorite peanuts. The item will go on sale December 17th. Bandai Namco Holdings announced that they will display the tentatively named Gundam Pavilion at the 2025 World Expo in Osaka. Kadokoa revealed that Bibliothy Princess TV anime will air October 2022, released a new trailer and a visual as well. The anime also revealed that Uedarena will play Lady Elena and Kimura Ryohei will play Prince Christopher. Now it's time for Seiyu news. Mimori Suzuko announced on her personal blog that she has given birth to her first child, and Takaki Ayahi announced on her blog that she is pregnant. Congrats on the both of them. The official website for Utano Prince Sama franchise announced that Suzuki Tatsuhisa will continue to play the character Kurosaki Ranmaru. Broccoli stated that the staff came to the decision after a careful consideration and decision. Back to the anime news, Kadokoa released a fifth trailer of Data Live 4 and a visual that features Tokisaki Kurumi to promote her arc. The official website of the upcoming anime, Ayakashi Triangle, announced that the upcoming TV anime adaptation will air 2023. The official website for Arihurite has released a trailer and a visual for the upcoming OVA, Maburoshi no Bouken Tokiseki no Kaiko. The story will take place after capturing the sunken ruins of Melsin. Hajime is worried that resuming his journey will separate him from Mew. While looking into the seven great legends of Erisin, the group is flying into a world with a ruined city and Mew is nowhere to be seen. While searching for her, Hajime had a miraculous encounter. Hino Satoshi will join the cast as Nai's Gren. The OVA will be a 40 minute episode and will be bundled with the 13th volume of the light novel which will release on September 25th. Boku no Hero Academia anime website revealed a visual and more details of the second episode of the two episode summer special. The second episode is titled Warae Jigoku no Yoni. A string of graffiti incidences happen across Endeavor's jurisdiction during winter vacation and the culprit is a self-proclaimed artist named Mr. Smiley. Due to Mr. Smiley's quirk, he is able to evade capture. The police ask Endeavor for help, but since he considers it a minor offense, he tells the police to deal with it themselves. That's until Mr. Smiley vandalizes Endeavor's house with graffiti. The two episode special will air in Japan June 16th through 19th. Kadokoa released a third trailer for the upcoming second season of Made in Abyss and revealed that it will air on July 6th. 
Bandai Namco Pictures announced that they will be collaborating with a United States production company, SK Global, to produce an English language live action series of Tiger and Bunny. Raven Metzer, who is known for Elektra and Iron Fist, will be writing the script and be the showrunner. Honestly, not looking bright already. Those two titles weren't the greatest. Bang Dream revealed the title and trailer for the upcoming new anime. The title is Bang Dream Monophonica. It will be a two episode special that will air on July 28th and the 29th. The upcoming Netflix TV anime by Studio Colorado Drifting Home released its third trailer and revealed that both Shimada Ben and Mizuki Nana will be joining the cast. Shimada will play Kumagai Yasuji, Kosuke's grandfather, and Mizuki will play Natsume's mother, Tonai Satoko. A1 Pictures released a visual and trailer for the upcoming original TV anime, Engage Kiss. The anime will air July 2nd, and Nanoa Akari will perform the ending theme, Ren I No. Additional cast members were also revealed. Watanabe Akino will play Yuigiri Akino, Ayano's mother, and the president of the AAA Defender Co. Matsuda Kenichiro is Miles Morgan, a veteran Bay Long City Police Special Crimes Unit. Hasegawa Yoshiaki will play Mikami Tetsuya, a detective of the Special Crimes Unit. Uchida Aya will play Hachisu. Shenwa, the oldest daughter of Beilong's mayor. Onishi Saori will play the second daughter of the mayor, Hachisuka Ringwa, and, and Osaka Ryota will play Hachisuka Mihail, the son of the mayor. It was also revealed that the smartphone game, Engage Kill by Square Enix and Aniplex, will begin registration this upcoming summer. So there you guys have it. That's all the news that we have for today. I'm actually uh, disappointed with who they went with for the Tiger and Bunny live action. If it was anyone else, I probably would have watched it, but at the same time, it's live action, so... <laughs> but I'm really excited for Engage Kiss at is an original anime so yeah super looking forward to that uh, other than that um, I don't watch data live so I'm definitely not really looking forward to that I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of you guys out there that uh, are looking forward to that uh, spy family of course I'm definitely gonna try and get myself that Tamagotchi I actually really like Tamagotchi I collect Tamagotchis to be honest with you so um, yeah every time I can find a Tamagotchi in the wild I'll definitely get it but uh, yeah that Anya one seems like a really fun one Pokemon Scarlet and Violet really looking forward to that 16 Final Fantasy See, of course I'm looking forward to that and then all the other Square Enix stuff as well so yeah comment down below and tell me what you guys are excited about oh yeah of course Made in Abyss cannot forget about that but yeah comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one laters